guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and today I want to talk a little bit about an interview where Zack Snyder says that his fans are not toxic, it is a bunch of baloney, and we, went, we need to investigate that just a little bit more. My beef with Zack Snyder isn't even so much the fans, and I'm going to show you some toxicity. The problem I have with Zack Snyder is the fact that he ruined the DCEU. A lot of what people say when it comes to criticism is why aren't these movies as far ahead as they could be as comparatively to something like Marvel? And I can tell you 100% that I think that has a lot to do with Zack Snyder. Now, do I think Zack Snyder is talented? Absolutely. Do I think Zack Snyder has done a great amount of really good movies? Yeah, I mean, I've only seen one good movie of his that he's done, but it, but you can see that the talent is there. So I don't want to disrespect anybody that is a fan of his. But he absolutely, unequivocally ruined the DCEU. It is not Zack Snyder's heroes that are... DC heroes. They are basically in name only. They're not heroes that are interested in being heroes. They don't want to save the day. They want to be worshipped. If you go back through, you can see all of the Jesus references that Zack Snyder makes. It's very clear. Even during marketing, when it came to it, he pushed the Jesus stuff so hard, he tried to market it as a Christian movie and encourage pastors to talk about how Jesus was the first superhero. Yeah, I really, really wish I was making that up, but it's not just the Jesus stuff. It is, he doesn't know the characters. Specifically that scene where they're all fighting uh, Superman, right? And he's super strong and nobody can take him on and Wonder Woman hasn't been able to take him down plenty of time in the comics or, or multiple times gone toe to toe with him because that's not a thing. Oh, it definitely is right. Okay. So it, it's not just a Wonder Woman that he doesn't know. He doesn't know Batman. He doesn't know Superman. He doesn't know the universe. There is a time when Hollywood was kind of terrified to take and look over comics because they didn't want to look so campy and to resemble too much of that uh, golden era of comics, right? Uh, well, until um, we saw James Wan take over Aquaman. But even so, it did a realistic portrayal of what we saw in the Golden Age of Comics. It did a really, really good job. Now, as far as Zack Snyder not knowing the characters, huh, it, it's bad. He's taken away everything that really made Batman Batman. He took everything away that made Superman Superman. He put in a terrible Martha scene. He made Lois Lane a damsel in distress and not a badass. He made every woman a damsel in distress. And and I know there was men that were damsels in distress too. I get it. I get it. He wrote all the villains the same. Every single one. All they are is colonizers instead of being ideological opposites. They stand for nothing. They stand for nothing. Batman has zero detective skills. He can't figure out Lex Luthor's plan. Just, just like the rest of the world, right? Like, there's so much he did to make these characters absolutely terrible. But unfortunately, it's very clear that he just watched maybe some Linda Carter Wonder Woman or some Super Friends watch the movies and went on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to add in Dark Knight Returns there because he makes it clear that's his favorite comic in every single interview and it's unfortunate because there is a lot of references that are put in there but you, they're not done by Zack Snyder some of them maybe a lot of the easter eggs and references are also done by the staffing around so it, ugh, it's a mess and um we need to talk about the fandom because the fandom is really what this conversation was supposed to be about before I went on a little rant. So let's take a look at this interview. Make sure you guys are subscribed and still subscribed ah, and hit like. Let me know in the comments below if you're a Zack Snyder fan. If I offended you, tell me why. Tell me what your reasoning is for liking this character. Tell me why you love that he enjoyed the entire movie franchise for DC Comics. Anyway, so he said, I think that <laughs> uh, that 
sour they're just sour grapes there's really a, no other way to say it um as far as his fans being labeled as toxic he's talking about the media labeling them as toxic we know the people who were architects of that narrative and it's pretty obvious what their agenda is those are people that have been held back from confronting holy crap you can tell the anger he wants to confront them by wiser people in the room because i'd love to get at some of these characters dun, dun, dun. someone's angry those direct conversations would be nice say to me one you don't know shit about what you're talking about there's a few of these guys where i would just oh my god where i would just get a list of everything they've ever said to me this man has a list let's hope you're not on it that's totally normal behavior because i have a list of everybody that said anything bad about me ever no i don't that's psychotic um and they thought they were right and i could tell them every single thing they've said wrong every single thing do you realize how weird that is do you realize how far you're taking this I want to get through the entirety before I go into the toxicity. I would love uh, the opportunity to just say to the world and the fandom in general who these fakers are and what they uh, should be done with them. Oh, Jesus. And what should be done with them? Oh, my. Done to them or with them? What the actual fuck? You realize you're talking out loud right before your, your, your movie comes out, your Snyder Cut. It comes out in March. You're saying... What should be done to them or with them? Psycho. It's just a bunch of BS in regards to the toxic fandom or it's a win for toxic fandoms. Again, is what the world does with this toxic fandom. Raise hundreds of thousands. Okay, so we're going to use... They raised like $200,000 for suicide prevention. That is wonderful. Nobody will take that away from you. But just like we've seen in Hollywood as of late, just because you have a certain check mark doesn't give you the ability to not be criticized. Remember that. How is that a toxic fandom? They've probably achieved more than any other fan base. I, I would disagree. And done more good than any other group. So I don't understand. What? Okay, I get you love your fans. I do. But here's a point where you see um, people, normal people that make videos on YouTube, whether it's someone like me or somebody massive like the quartering, always saying in their videos, do not contact these people. Do not be rude. I condone it. Why is that so hard? Why is that so hard for him to say, hey, you threatened the lives of multiple people. I don't condone. I, I don't agree with that. But he won't because he doesn't want to lose any sort of uh, ability to, you know, hmm, look good for his fans because he fans it. He fans those flames higher and higher all the time. Uh, we have people threatening James Gunn from this fandom. I'm, I'm showing you all things from this fandom. And I will show you in, in the pinned comment. I'll put this amazing article that really does a good job of showcasing a bunch of different stuff within it. But uh, apparently if you're an atheist, you're not allowed to watch the Snyder Cut. All right. <laughs> this is where it gets bad. This is where it gets even worse besides the Jesus pictures of Zaddy because that's what they call him, yet you're so ignorant that you actually believe that Disney had no role in Zack's daughter's death. Yes, that's real. They believe that Disney tried to have his daughter killed. Yeah, okay. Perhaps they <laughs> they don't outright kill her, but they did influence her. Are you kidding? So that Kevin Feige can copy Justice League and input Rat jo uh, Joss Wheaton to ruin it. You're you're kidding me, right? You're absolutely kidding me. This cannot be real. Now, here's one thing I want to say about fandoms is you cannot blame the entirety for a few of bad apples. You cannot blame the entire fandom of Zack Snyder for these terrible people. But when it happens over and over and over and over, I could keep going again, you have to either condone it. You have to say this isn't okay or you start embracing it and that's when it becomes toxic and that's where we're at now now do i think everybody that likes Zack snyder is toxic absolutely not i know a lot of you guys disagree with me this 
this isn't okay. It isn't okay. And I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the picture before I edit or not. But it's not okay to have beheaded Jeff Johns in the hands of Wonder Woman. And, and Toby Emmerich and uh, jo- I think the other one was John Berg. None of this is okay. Yet you don't say anything about it. The fans don't say anything about it. The other fans, the good ones. If you don't say anything, then nothing ever gets done. They want the death of Jeff Johns. They harassed people for months. When Kobe Bryant died, they literally said, Oh, poor Kobe. Hey, boy, you know, it's better release the Snyder Cut. None of this is okay. All you have to do, Zach, is say, Hey, I'm not cool with that. And it's over. It's over. You look really good. You say, you know what? I appreciate every single one of you that supported me. But please, don't be rude and don't be violent. Don't make threats. That's it. But you're going to say none of it exists. I guess I was wrong. All of these are fake. Except for they're not. And all of these are real. And I've had it in my comment section when I've talked about this stuff too. I am super retarded. Because, you know... Zack Snyder is is God and not only that but I shouldn't be able to enjoy these things because he's God it just it makes no sense nothing whatsoever so you know keep pretending like they were sabotaged keep pretending like he wasn't fired for being an ultimate edgelord that killed Jimmy Olsen within five minutes because my deaths are edge lordy. I, I don't know. What was the point? Jimmy Olsen is an extremely, extremely important character. But you gotta have that edge in there. Stick to zombies. Stay away from the heroes. Batman is a detective. Batman is brooding and dark and not completely so narcissistic and and, and full of himself and mean and it's just mm. All right, well, nothing against the actors because it's the writing's fault. This has to stop. You have to not be okay with this or you get a toxic fandom. That's how they develop. It's that easy. It really is. It, it really, really is. But some people aren't the, <laughs> aren't the brightest apples in the bunch. Anyway, so let, let me know. Oh, I forgot about one. Um, y- you know when they threatened um, Gal Gadot? Ha! Yeah, okay, so, yeah. Anyway, so, let me know, of course, what you guys think, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, I want to give a huge shout-out to my Patreon and subscribe stars. You guys literally make this channel possible. Huge thank you to Cage the Mick, Robert Mick Twiz, Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Chris Z, David L., David Rafford, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Mighty Balls, Mike Buckner, Mizen Barbosa, Ruscar, Ryan Decker, Robert Hoffman, and Doc Holiday. You guys are absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for all your support. Don't forget on the way out to like as always if you enjoy the content and hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.